children welcome to our revs class in our last class we started our sixth chapter hands that reap virtue do you remember the topics that we discussed in our last class yes very good in our last class we discussed about different occupations and the different stages of paddy cultivation right shall we start our today's class okay so now we know that each product we use in our day to day life passes through different occupational fields similarly our clothes too reaches as a result of the hard work of several people so let's see the making of clothes my dear children look at the picture do you know which type of clothes are these yes these are cotton clothes from where do we get cotton yes we get cotton from cotton plants so the first step of making cotton clothes is cotton cultivation when the cotton plants are fully grown we have to collect cotton from cotton plants so collecting cotton is the second step of making cotton clothes after collecting the cotton from cotton plants we have to spin the cotton by using spinning wheel so my dear children what will be the third step yes very good spinning of cotton after spinning cotton by using the spinning wheel mixing different color dyes to the cotton the next step is weaving the cloth after weaving the cloth weaved clothes will take to the textile business the last step is the stitching of clothes into different styles okay dear children have you understood shall we read all the steps once more okay the making of clothes or dress first step cotton cultivation second collecting cotton third spinning cotton and the fourth step is mixing dyes fifth one weaving cloth and sixth one textile business and the last one stitching garments dear children look at this picture do you know what is this it is a tool used for agriculture and its name is plow this plow is used for plowing the field but today in the place of plow tractors are used for plowing the field my dear children what do you see in this picture okay this will tell you it is thevukotta in olden days farmers used this thevukotta to drain water into the field but in nowadays we cannot see this thevukotta and plow this plow and thevukotta was used by the farmers in olden days to make their work easier in the fields dear children so now we know that plow is one of the tool used in farming do you know which are the other tools required for farming okay teacher will tell you all of you listen plow spade shovel etc are the tools required for farming so like farming every occupation needs some tools so let's discuss some tools that are needed for occupation dear children can you name this occupation 
Yes, this is painting. And which tool is used for painting? Yes, we use brush for painting. And what is the use of brush? Yes, brush is used to paint. And this occupation, what is this? Yes, this is fishing. And which type of tool is used for fishing? Yes, we use net for fishing, right? And what is the use of net? Yes, net is used to catch the fish. My dear children, do you know who is the person who treats patients? Yes, doctor. And what is the tool used by the doctor? Yes, doctors use stethoscope to diagnose diseases. Can you name this occupation? Yes, this is carpentry. Do you know which are the tools used for doing this occupation? Chisel and hammer are the two tools used in carpentry work. And the chisel and hammer is used to make wooden objects. For each occupation, we use different kinds of tools and these tools make our work very easier. Dear children, have you understood? Okay, do you help your parents in household work? Okay, very good. Like any other occupation, household work is also very important. So it is better that all the members of the family do the household work together. All of you should help your father and mother to do the household work. Okay? Dear children, see the picture. Here, a child says that my father is a good farmer. I too shall become a good farmer like my father. And another child says that I like to become a good teacher. I shall try to give good lessons to a lot of children. Here, the children are talking about their dream of growing up. You have to read all the sayings of your friends. And all of you should write down your wish in the space given in your textbook. Okay? So my dear children, we should always realize that all occupations are great and are very important. Okay, my dear children, have you understood all the topics in this chapter very well? Okay, so we completed our sixth chapter, Hands That Reap Virtue. My dear little ones, that's all for today's section. Thank you.